Welcome back to Digger City. No one's the Birdo team. Party Boy's the Bowser team. The City Hall and Wonder Bear. And we're gonna have a good time. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't realize you were throwing to me for a for a fun little. I more bit. so dropped the ball and you picked it up. It's okay. You on the off side asking for scissors for his brand new Heelys. And I suppose I could answer him. They're on the upstairs uh, in the kitchen. It's like a knife, like like a holster. Like, you know, like a, the thing a cowboy has that he puts his gun into? A holster? Yeah. It's like that, but for scissors. Gotcha. Huge knife? left, by the way. It's, it's, a, it's a knife block you're referring to. Yes, that's it. They have knives in them, but also usually a spot for scissors. Do they have gun blocks? For, I mean, if I you mean, can have a scissors holster, why not a gun block? I mean, I'm not like a giant piece of shit who owns more than one gun. I own zero guns. But at least someone owning one gun, they could convince me that they need one. Mm -hmm. Anyone who has a gun block? <laughs> <laughs> what if, uh... What if you get robbed by two people at the same time? That also have guns, both of them. Um, you're probably dead if you if, you, if, you, if, you, if Not if starts. I have two guns. You have to have the two guns. What are you gonna reach for them? You're dead. No, I'm, I'm sitting by my gun block. Easy access. Yeah, you still have to grab them though. You have to grab any gun. No, yeah, but in your situation, these people are robbing you. They probably have guns out already. Then when is a gun ever useful? If Never. You're... Guns are stupid. <laughs> That's not true. They're useful if you're robbing someone. That's true if you're a criminal, yes. by all means. <laughs> so I think they should let guns be used. How Base is loaded is <laughs> for Petey Piranha. It's up. It's a bad one. It's caught. And it's a double play. Triple play? Triple no. play? Oh, like two triple plays in one week? <laughs> oh, by the way, elephant in the room. Welcome to Saturday. Hey! It's Saturday. Welcome to the patron game of the no, the no, 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 the no, week. no, 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 Andrew. I can see why you'd be confused. This is a Saturday video for all. We had such a high attendance in recording this week. You guys get one extra free video, and tomorrow's the member game on the Lord's what? Day. Yeah, man. I hate giving away free things. Oh, do uh, you want like to charge someone? I think I'd like to charge one person in particular. Leave a comment if you want to get charged for this video. We're going to pick one lucky contestant, and this video is going to be worth $5 for them. All right, I'm on board. All right, leave it in the comments. Say, I want to pay for this video. Yeah, make, it, make that part of your comment, because if, you, if that's not part of your comment, you're not entering the runnings. We're not Obviously. Gonna, some random person is like, Tyler and uh, Andrew don't talk about the game <laughs> often enough. We're not going to charge you. Honestly, just drop your Venmo and we'll request you. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That, that's how it's going to go. <laughs> oh, night, dude. Waluigi on his strikeout does like oh, major three spin? spins. Dude, I just realized we could like make so much money. Hear me out. This video gets 2,000 views or something. Maybe, uh -huh. maybe let's oh, say 1.5 we... <laughs> to be conservative. We tell everyone, everyone drops their Venmo. We go, congrats, you're, we, we Venmo request them saying, congrats, you're the one winner for five. They accept it. That's, that's like, it's like $7,500. Wow, good math. It's all, I don't think it's right. It is. Is it right? 1.5 times five? 5 should be 7.5. Really? Uh, I believe that is correct. Damn, I am good at math. Because you think of... Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I'm not a math guy, so I'll take your word for it. Um, I've... My, Mo already gave me permission to divulge this. Uh, <laughs> I, I asked her a lot of math questions she didn't get correct. Would you like to hear some of them? Were Do you we, around for this? How um how many? How many? I'd probably like six that are jarring. Can you give them to me in, in order of descending difficulty so start harder and get progressively easier? Yes. Okay. So for the hardest one, I'm not asking for a number here. I'm asking for a ballpark. She gave Finger me Finger City, City Field. She gave me a no nice, nice. <laughs> She gave me a number and it was way off. What is 1,000 to the power of five? Um, a lot of zeros would be involved. That's, a lot of zeros involved, right? It's 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000 times 1,000. There you go. She said 5,000. Oh, she thought it was 1,000 times five. Yeah. 
I then ask her again. Redo your answer. Ten ten thousand is oh, the she, new answer she, I got. She just doubled it. All right. Just doubled okay. it. Clearly doesn't know what an exponent is. Okay. I say I say two to the power of two. What do you got? Four. Eight. No. That that's what she said. Oh, <laughs> oh you were telling me it was eight for a second. I was yeah. really nervous. Um. All right, and then uh, I, I I think I mostly ask. Oh, a hundred times a hundred. That's a hundred times a hundred is. A thousand, right? I'm not crazy. No, that is 10, also. 000. She 10, also said a thousand and is wrong. It's ten thousand, but at least you caught it. Oh, just like my brain was like add the zeros together, but I just forgot about the one actually. Uh huh. Oh, it was like four <laughs> zeros, four spots, one thousand. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then um, I, I probably asked one more that I forget. Now for the final question. All right, I'm ready. What is two divided by two? One. Yep, she said zero. Oh man, <laughs> Moshi. It's it's rough, man. It's That's rough bad. math. That's bad math. She's a cashier somewhere, right? I know, dude. Well, I was like, hey man, here's a quarter. And then you're like, I don't know what to do with this. Like, what's a number? <laughs> this must be enough to cover it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is it? I'll give you four uh, i'll give you five quarters for four dollars and you're like five's, five's bigger than four, four. <laughs> <laughs> this game very defensive no one in party boy yeah um, i mean that's party gotta boy, mean something. party boy's gaming debut you saw him on comms last game oh From no what i can tell i i was very focused mercy and gill took a lot out of me Sounded like you guys were talking about absolute nonsense. <laughs> was I commentating for a game with you and Gil? Yeah. See you, dog. Bye, I was Joey. so out of the game. See it like didn't even didn't even know it was you. Yeah, it was absolute nonsense. Yeah, I remember hearing something about Gandhi. Pretty self indulgent. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll pause. I don't want to do it again. All right. Just in case. <laughs> you got it. Don't want. All of our fans watch every game. They don't need to get the same commentary twice. Well, they get a new perspective on the Gandhi issue. No. How about we talk about... I'm going to pull something out of my head. All right. Mm, moose. Moose. Uh, the chocolate or the animal? Ooh, your dealer's choice. Ooh. I want to talk about the animal. What if I put a... What's the funniest location you could put a moose in that you can think of? Time or place or situation. You can make it up. I've got one because it would be... T oh, that could have been a double play, I yep, think. But I think instead so. Instead of Ron's going to get it Could have also been prevented a run. So that's one run for Nolan? Nolan's the Birdo team. Nolan's one the Birdo Nolan. team? Yep. All right. No one's saying no. No one's saying no? No one is saying no. No one is saying no. No okay. one's playing baseball. Gotcha. Funniest place to put a moose. Oh, man, my first answer is bad. Oh, uh, in, in, in my... Like, I don't think it's the worst thing I can say, so I am going to say it. All so right. Whatever happens, happens. All right. The first thing I thought of was was uh, the Apollo 11 space shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> what, what happened to 11? What? What happened that's, on the 11th one? That's the one, one that exploded, right? Oh, Apollo that's not 11? good. No? Oh, never mind. Apollo 11's clean. Apollo... That's a funny place to put a moose. Which Apollo exploded, Mike? 13, Apollo 13. That sounds more like it exploded. That's the one I meant to put the moose on, but I guess the moose can live. Dude, could you imagine you go with the news? I'm not good at math, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Got my numbers mixed up. Moose you, is fine. You turn on the news, you see uh, Apollo 11, Apollo 13, tragic incident. No one, no humans died, but one moose was lost. And you're like, classic moose. Oh my what God. What was that, Mike? Oh, Mike, Mike was also wrong. Does anyone know when Apollo Space Shuttle exploded? It was the Challenger! It wasn't oh. even an Apollo Space Shuttle. Dude, if they had a moose on the Challenger... <laughs> I I like, um, you well, know... No, let's put a moose in space. I think it's fun. Obviously, a lot of people don't like when you joke about tragedy, but, like, Apollo... This is a long time ago. Not that many people were on it. <laughs> uh, there were enough. <laughs> enough, but, like... No moose. No moose. There were no no meese were accounted <laughs> for in the, uh, the, the the Challenger explosion. <laughs> now I gotta think where I would put a moose. I I, I botched it pretty bad, so you got, I think you're gonna have to carry this bit over the, the finish line. Ooh, it's tough because I, I made oh uh, bad I made dive. I made a joke of a tragedy and got it wrong. I have nothing going for me. Yeah. All right. So I I might be able to do better than that. I think I would put a moose. 
uh, in front of the camera. Oh, bad egg. In front of the camera, but like on the shooting of Godfather, but like out of frame enough that they didn't catch it in editing. Where, what scene? Um, the, the famous scene where he's like, you do this to me on my daughter's wedding. It's just like a moose like licking his face a little bit. <laughs> How it's licking his face and they're just not picking up on they, it? They didn't pick up. It's a, it's the background is brown in my world. I think it's a pretty moose colored. Spot. I wasn't thinking about like just putting it somewhere to inconvenience a product. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hear me out, man. In the moose exhibit at the zoo, <laughs> but it's a new one. <laughs> and everyone's like, one, two, three moose. Wait a minute. You know what's funny? That's that probably the location that keeps the best track of how many moose is in that location. That's why I'm saying, like, imagine, imagine, like, you work at the zoo, you you keep you keep the moose. If there's anywhere where a moose is gonna get noticed, it's in the moose exhibit. I know, but like, is it an, an, an extra like an extra moose? That would mess them up. <laughs> They'd be like, yeah, you belong here, but like, what's <laughs> how going did you on? Get here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. A Especially lot. you pick Did a, they have pick a, a big baby? You pick a zoo near no like like, like where are moose common? Canada, yeah. North, Northern America. If there is like a China. Yeah, if you got like a, give me like a like a fucking Australian zoo. Yeah. Moose aren't even like there's literally not a single moose in Australia that isn't in a zoo. <laughs> oh bobble, oh, bobble! Oh it's oh, good! Man. Oh, man. Yeah, oh, oh, geez. Geez. it's an out! Oh, <laughs> That's why those baseball fundamentals. Two yeah, outs, you gotta you, send you, them. You don't, you don't, you wanna score some runs there. You don't turn back. No. Yoshi. You know what though? I gotta give Party Boy a lot of props here. Everyone was predicting a Nolan Mercy. It's only one yeah. zero. That's not bad. You know, missing out on runs. That means you could have gotten them. <laughs> That's true. He probably would have probably would have been one one there. It's like a. I'm sure there's some sort of mathematical concept for that. It's a little hot. For hypothetical in here. runs. Oh, it's, it's insanely hot in here. What a what? Give me a a word that rhymes with the amount of degrees that it is. Um, I think that the the heat from these lights coming down on us right now is a amount of degrees, and a word that rhymes with it is uh. Um, numbers are hard to rhyme with. A little um, bit. Like three is an easy one. Uh, yeah, well, it was definitely not single digit degrees in here in Fahrenheit. Well, if it's, if it's, I mean, tree rhymes with 23, right? Well, you still have to have the number of syllables hit. Really? Normally. What, for a perfect rhyme or for a rhyme? For a perfect rhyme. Okay, you're looking for a perfect rhyme? All right, then I guess, I guess I, if you want a non-perfect one, I'll go for like... Still hard if it's seven. Uh... I'll go for uh, Brian. Oh, you think it's like 89? That is exactly the amount of degrees I think it is wow. right now. You know, I could be the rhyme whisperer. Yeah, that was impressive. I, it's uh, that, That's a, a great idea for a show. Is a um, rhyme whisperer? Not necessarily. So it's it's a guy, the two, a group of two people. They could do anything. They could be space space people, right? Space moose. Space moose and uh, and translator caboose is uh, this. Thank God I rhymed because that makes this bit so much funnier. The moose <laughs> only speaks in limericks, so translator caboose needs to translate. You know, de rhyme the the rhymes to. <laughs> Get this, get the moose's point across. This is so stupid. It's amazing that the moose could speak. <laughs> the moose has like, got the control panel, and it's like <laughs> space moose and translation caboose. Yeah, and it, <laughs> it's like, oh, don't launch! I would really like to launch, and he's like, initiate the countdown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly that. Yeah, <laughs> I hate it. I love it. Is it as good? I think it's our second best show idea we've ever had. <laughs> we could run a whole TV program. I think we could, man. Obviously, our Starship program is uh, is, is the Toaster and the Gem Girls or whatever it was. You mean Flagship? Because star yeah. our Starship program is going to be Space Moose. You're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, it's never, never a dull moment in the booth with City Hall. Uh, I'm watching... 
Joe's like fumbling with his wheelies over there. He's really trying to unlock his heelies. Andrew <laughs> Andrew brought uh, bought uh, some nice pink heelies for his girlfriend, but unfortunately they were too small for her. So who do we always look to when things are too small? <laughs> Young Upzar Joe Stimmel now has a brand new pair of heelies. Yeah, is uh. So apparently the maximum size that the pink comes in is that, so I had to get a different design too. Oh wow. It's, it's you like, mean the minimum? It's no, like, no, yeah, maximum. That, that maximum, too, yeah. They were too big for her. They were too small, small for, for her. her. So the the maximum size for pink is eight. Oh, I got gotcha. you. And she needed a nine. Understood. Oh no, I just divulged foot size. <laughs> Dude, you're giving away lady feet measurements for free. Can, can, can Mike the bleep the numbers? Don't even say the no, kind no, of healing we're not it was. Gonna, we're not going to bleep it out. Just <laughs> if you want to be charged for the foot measurements, <laughs> leave a code. Leave your Venmo. <laughs> <laughs> so we're charging someone five for the for the video. Uh -huh. <laughs> we're charging some. How much do you uh, evaluate your, your girlfriend's shoe size at? It's more Joe's foot size that I'm concerned with. Oh, you got two shoe sizes? I did. Two for Joe's. Do you care about your girlfriend's? Uh, I think she's fine with it. Free for Moe's. <laughs> so Joe's toes are two, Moe's toes is free. Uh, translation? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Just goes to show that Moe's toes and Joe's toes don't go. <laughs> uh, only the... You got a Venmo if you want Joe's toes or Moe's toes if you want them to go. I can't go on. Forever, I I can't. Yeah, no. I I have none. I was like something. Someone knows. I don't know. <laughs> someone knows how much the toes goes, folks. I've got a stuffy nose, etc. Do you have a stuffy nose? Hang on. Ah, air's getting. Hang on. There. Hang on. I do. Oh, my right got, nostrils got, a little stuffy. Yeah, stuffy. Yeah, right stuffed knot. I thought I felt a little bit of stuff in there. That, that could have been, been a double, double play. play. Jinx. I sure hope. Uh, you're jinxed. I'm unjinxed. What do you mean you're unjinxed? I'm unjinxed. How do you? You can't do that, can did. you? What is that? That's a that's a ball. That's a a ballpark foul. That's Don't a, I owe you a, a soda? playground like, why foul. Why are you punching me? A playground foul. This is when when you jinx someone. If they you talk, them you a soda. Punch you go jinx. I owe you a soda. This is no, you, you say uh, the, uh, the standard jinx. The soda is a modification. The standard jinx rules is if they speak. They get punched unless you say their name three times. Never heard of that in my life. Really? I I think. Think you're having a ha ha right I now. I think this needs a Google. I, I mean, think Andrew's right. Andrew's I hear. right. I think it it's a little. Oh my bad. Say my name. There's three a times. regular show episode. That is so fun. So high five ghost, right? You know him. I'm, I'm the one. I, actually, my favorite themed character in the show. For like the first like thirteen, like twenty episodes of the show says nothing. You think he's just a silent character. Mm -hmm. And then they like they pull him aside like it's just like High Five Ghost and Mordecai and Rigby and he's like you guys gotta help me. Muscle Man's had me jinxed for the past month. Like, <laughs> Oh they use it to explain why he hasn't, didn't speak in the first 20 episodes? I, I think him not speaking is the setup that's, for like the joke that lands there. That's really <laughs> funny. That's super humor. Super it is humor. super humor. And uh, uh, like like translation. you unjinx me and then punch me like 20 times or whatever I deserve. I'm not going to punch you on debt. I'll just, you know, Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Thank Some you. need the full name. I'm not so stingy. Okay, thank you. I appreciate being free. I didn't realize it was such a serious issue. Not, <laughs> not serious. One of the goofiest issues you could have, in fact. Also, <laughs> Party Boy loves uh, Paragoomba, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. You, I think you mentioned it, at least in the last episode. I think he mentioned it. Yeah. So... A mod the game to make Paragoomba my captain, I believe, was uh, his <laughs> words. We could probably do that for him. Probably. Give him a second ability. I don't know what ability we'd have to give him for him to not suck eggs. Probably Baldash would suck fat eggs. <laughs> not Clamber. We were, we were trying to make him worse, but give him two abilities to be Clamber. <laughs> it's a tie game in Andrew rules, man. Ooh. Party Boys has to convert one run. This is last chance. Paragoomba, the goat. <laughs> well, that ain't going to do it. Not going to do it. <laughs> Paragoom is slow, too, isn't he? I think my plan here is hopefully get on with Luigi and then I Mario Fireball. Okay. Well, I'm still going to Mario dead. Fireball, I think. Now, well, yeah, it's my last matter now, so I'm definitely Mario Fireball. I hope I get in the second, and then maybe yeah. he pitches the Bowser because he's stupid. I can see a, a pitch to... Ooh. All right, I guess I'm just hoping for a single, and then and then he pitches the Bowser. Okay. Ooh, he, he, he used the other star for Could have used it there. 
He okay. might not know the mechanic. You're okay, right. Wait, wait. I'm trying just to hit the ball. Hit the ball. I just want to hit the ball right just now. Just want to hit the ball. Just want to make contact with the ball. The ball contact. Just hope he drops it. That's drop it? Okay, the game. That's the game is over. Thanks so much for no watching Gator up City. 1 0 against Party Boy. You can become a member to get the video games early. You can subscribe to the channel. You can leave a comment if you want to be charged for this video. Exactly. You can your... like the video. You can join the Discord down in the description. And uh, I think there's only one thing left to say. No, there's more. Okay. Um, if you want to normally get videos on Saturdays, become a member. This is a little treat for you. We're giving you a little treat. You won't get many more of these unless you're a member. Now I think there's only one thing left to no, say. No, there's more. You can go to diggercity.com to check out our new merch, such as uh, tank tops and water bottles. And, uh, and and pinker Dennis sticker and shirt. And now I think there's only one thing left to say. No, there's more. Um, Tinger City out. <laughs>